Okay. Hi, Jasmine. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Well, thank you for coming on the show. I appreciate it. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Why don't you just introduce yourself to the world? Okay. So um, my name is Jasmine Shojar. I'm based in Australia. Um, I'm best known for being awarded Australia's top glamour model for 2017 and 2018. I have since um, done a lot of things such as pose for Playboy for about 10 times to be exact as of this year. So that's very exciting. Um, I've also appeared in Maxim USA twice as well, um, Maxim Mexico. I've done a couple of FHM features and I've done a lot of other magazines um, including Chick Miami, uh, Los Angeles Fashion Magazine and I'm also best known for a couple of television appearances um, including Naked News in Canada and um, Australia's The Project which is a TV show um, that focus on, focuses on a variety of projects and the latest news. So other than that I'm also an aspiring actress and I've done a couple of um, film projects and, and music videos as well. So that's something that I'm very much passionate about as of this year. I figured that I'd really try and branch into that a little bit more. So I'm currently at acting school and learning a lot. So it's a, it's a very full-on career in a way. I've kind of branched myself out and done a variety of things, but I, I absolutely love it and I couldn't have it any other way. Uh, what kind of stuff do they teach you at acting school? So at acting school they teach you like the knowledge that you need about the film industry itself, um, how to properly read into your script and understand the story like text analysis if that makes sense. And they also you know give you a range of techniques um, for when you're acting and even preparing yourself for acting. So it's just um, one of those things that you yeah, it's just one of those proper acting um, units or courses, I should say. It's technically a certificate for where you learn a whole range of stuff and you um, it really trains you to become a professional, professional actor. What sort of acting are you interested in doing? Do you want to do film or you want to do television or stage? Um, like I'd love to try stage. I'm actually more of a screen person. I've done a lot of screen projects. So whether that's again music videos or even like screen projects where I'm just talking directly to the camera, um, interviews and obviously Naked News and the project were very classic examples of um, screen projects. So I think for the most part I'd love to do television and film. I think that would be something I do very well at and it's something I'm very passionate about. So those would be my main areas of focus. So how did you get started modeling? How did that come about? So modeling is something I've always done or I've always wanted to do, sorry, since I was a little girl and it wasn't until I was 21 um, after coming out of a very traumatic experience I just wanted to do something spontaneous and that thing ended up being modeling and it's funny, like every time I look back, I can see how much I've grown as a person and as a professional and how far I've come. So when I bring this up, it makes me really happy because I, I realize I came a long way. And um, it's definitely been a very incredible adventure. I've met so many different people and I've learned a lot. So yeah, it wasn't until I was 21 that I decided to really get into this. And um, I think it was, yeah, I, I was just about to, do, to turn 23 um, where I did my first like proper magazine appearances and that included Playboy and Max Muse. So it's amazing how I've been able to do all these things in a, in somewhat of a short period of time. So I'm very proud of that. What do you think is the number one most important feature to be a successful model? I mean, just speaking physically in terms of being the best model, it's obviously your your looks. But when I say that, I don't mean like a specific idea. I just mean like having, you know, good skin, um, having good hair, having good um, like facial features, um, as well as having like very good fit 
figure as well. I think that's very important. Um, without those, especially the skin, surprisingly or not, um, you, I guess you don't really have a good outer shell or good complexion. So it's very important to, I guess, keep those things um, on top of, of your priority list when you are model. I can definitely relate to that. And But the rest of it comes from yourself, like within. I think if you are super confident and you know what you're doing, it makes a massive difference to the whole photo shoot because you can be very good looking, you can be very slim and tall and not have any idea what you're doing. So skill and knowledge definitely plays a huge part. Okay. Um, is there one particular trait that the, uh, the agencies look for or are they looking for all different types? I think it depends. It probably depends on the agency as well. Um, I'm very proud because I just recently signed up with another agency um, this month. So I'm very glad about that. It was, um, it, was, it was a submission. So I think coming from a model's perspective, when you apply for an agency, you think, well, what, what are they looking for? And I'm, am I presenting myself at my very best? So definitely presentation, I'd say, um, because if you don't have a good portfolio and if you don't have any sort of good images or vi videos showcasing how well you are, then that could definitely ruin your chances of being accepted into an agency. But then again, it can be really funny because you can you can be accepted very easily into maybe one or two agencies in particular states and then elsewhere um, it's not the same case. So I think like it's it can be very opinionated as well. So what people are looking for are just based on what their thoughts are. It's like a casting director when it comes to casting for film. Obviously, they have an idea of what they think is good for their brand or their agency, and they're going to look for that. But if you have a good portfolio that presents you at the very best standard as possible, that definitely helps because, um, yeah, presentation and skill is definitely um, right up there on top of the list. I know this might sound like a silly question, but do you have a particular diet and exercise regimen that you follow? Oh gosh, I definitely do. This year it's been a bit funny, like all over the place. I have to say um, it's it's been hard because I, I can definitely say as a model, even as an individual, that when you have added stress or concerns, it can be very challenging to just focus on your diet. And obviously, 2020 has been the perfect, perfect example of people having added concerns and so on. So I think for me, I just try to eat very healthy this year where I could. Um, I'm very lucky. I'm not really the type of person who I suppose gains weight very quickly, but for the most part, it's definitely finding out what works for you. And um, I think for most people, too many carbs and too many fatty foods is definitely a um, is not beneficial. So I try to like keep things lean in my diet, not too fatty, not too many carbs. Um, so in other words. I don't really eat a lot of pizza or spaghetti or anything like that or, or burgers for that matter. Um, it helps though because I'm gluten free. So in the end, there's a lot of things that I don't end up eating anyway because I, I don't feel well afterwards. So it's definitely beneficial in that aspect. What about exercise? Exercise wise, I try to go to the gym about four times a week. Yeah. I think in the past before COVID, I was going five times a week with long sessions. So the difference isn't too bad. Um, I'm very glad I'm still able to go and enjoy my workout. So yeah. Would you think the, the same sort of circumstances and rules applies to a male model as to a female model? Or is it a different? Do you know what I mean? Is it a different camp? Mm -hmm. Or is it all pretty much the same thing? Um, I think it depends because, again, I would say when it comes to diet, it, it comes down to the person's individual body and how they react to foods and so on. But what I heard from several guys 
this before is in order to stay fit, especially, you know, very trim and muscular, it can actually be a lot of effort. So a lot of um, specific exercises, a lot of specific foods, depending, I guess, once again. But yeah, from what I understand, it can actually be very hard to stay in shape um, for a guy, especially if they want to be very, very toned. <laughs> Well, I guess the agencies aren't necessarily, they're all looking for sort of muscular looking guys, mm -hmm. but they're not necessarily looking for muscular looking women. True, mm -hmm. exactly. That's the funny thing. You know, I always say, oh, it's much harder for women to stay in shape and look their very best. But I think that's not entirely true. I think guys have their own challenge. Yeah, I think so. Um, so you've got a cover you want to show, yeah? Do you want to hold that up? Yes, I will Tell just about bring that. that up slowly. So um, I did a magazine cover for Playboy, as you can see. So this is Playboy Sweden, which um, I received a whole batch of them about two, two, three weeks ago. So I'm very excited about that. And um, I'll be selling them as we speak um, with my autograph on the cover and a message on the inside so fans can get their very own limited edition autograph. Okay. <laughs> How do they get in contact with you? Do you have a website? I do have my social media for now. Um, in terms of what I've been announcing as of late, I've been directing my fans to contact my team. So there is an email option on my Instagram. Alternatively, um, within the next two weeks, um, my Playboy magazine will also go on my online um, store as such. So the the link to my online store is in my Instagram bio. So if um, viewers head over there, they'll see everything. But it's very easy to order one otherwise. Um, while it's not online yet, all they have to do is send an email and go from there. Okay, so what is your Instagram? My Instagram is Jasmine Shojai Model. Um, for those who don't know how to spell my last name, it's S H O J A I. And everything is pretty much there. I've been trying to advertise um, a lot of my latest offers as frequently as I can. So, um, yeah, hopefully they can find all the information very easily. Okay. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show and uh, best of luck with all of your modeling endeavors and your acting. I hope uh, everything goes well for you. Thank you. <laughs> and stay safe in COVID. Yeah. Most definitely. I'll, I'll definitely try to do that. <laughs> How's it doing in Australia? Are you guys uh, doing better than average with the rest of the world? Or? I think we are to a certain extent. Um, I'm mostly happy with the decisions that were made when I look at what's going on. In saying that, there are a lot of things that I don't agree with, um, naturally. But I think for the most part, we are doing very well in terms of keeping the numbers very low, which they are. And I think as of, or I shouldn't say think, but they, they just announced that before Christmas, um, majority of people will be able to move between Australia pretty freely because they were restricting travel um, so they were preventing in some cases um, people from traveling interstate which um, I found oh, that I very annoying with my modeling work <laughs> but it was um, it's going to open up within the next yeah month and then it will be another six months maybe even another 10 months before they consider full international travel so it's it's getting there <laughs> okay well, thank you.